Welcome back everybody. This video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about properties and how we can create a property that allows us to work with our object in a new way. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so we have a first name and a last name. And if we wanted to print both of them, what we have to do is we have to go in here, put a space and then say me dot last name. And like, what the crap? This is so much work. I don't want to type all that junk. So what I actually want to do is I just want to say me dot full name. But the problem with just having a full name is that gives us an opportunity to have conflicting data. Because what if we put a value for the first name and a value for the last name that's different than the value in the full name? Well, we can actually fix that problem using properties because we can actually get the values from the other properties. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So let's go back to our class. And we have this first name here. You can see I, I went through the details of how to customize this property, but it's not doing a whole lot. So I'm just going to go back to the auto properties here like so. Awesome. So now I want to create a full name. So we'll just say public string full name. And in here I'm going to have a get. And all this is going to do is it's going to do the concatenation here rather than from the caller over here. So we can just basically copy this from the, the class side rather than doing it in the caller. So let's do that. We're going to say get first name plus a space plus last name. And ultimately, we're going to return this value. There you go. This, once it's done concatenating, is a string. So it's a valid value to be stored as, as a string. So looking good. Let's give it a try. So rather than console right lining this whole thing, all we have to do is say me dot full name. And I will give myself a little bit of a prettier name just for our sanity's sake. It's much better. Run this bad boy. And you can see we get the value Caleb Curry. So that is how we get a little bit more experience with the properties. Now, if you wanted to basically assign a value to full name, that is possible. But the problem here is that leaves the, the task of deciding how to split the name up into first name and last name, that it's left up to us as the developer. And that's actually pretty problematic because people's names vary in so many different ways. And what if someone puts in a middle name or, or something like that? Maybe that's going to, to mess things up. So you have a couple of options here. One, you could just get rid of the whole concept of a first and last name and just have a name. Then people can put a middle name or anything like that inside of the property and it'd work fine. The other option is you could make sure that you grab the first name and then split it at the first space and then grab whatever is left and make that the last name. If you wanted to do something like that, I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but I'll get you started and then consider it a programming challenge for you. Basically take the value parameter and call a method on it, substring. That's one option. You can basically take a certain length of characters, basically first find that space, use that to do some calculation. Alternatively, you can use split. And this is going to return an array, a string array, and then all you gotta do is grab index zero for the first name and potentially index one for the last name. Doing these kind of calculations though does put us at risk for more errors during runtime, so you gotta be really careful because for example, if someone doesn't put a space, uh oh, we got an issue. So give it a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, what the solution might be, and we can all compare answers. So that's a little bit more with working on properties. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one.